to Elizabeth's craft room for another of my show and tell videos um, and this time they are a couple of projects I've made using Santa's suit. Um, there are stamps and also there are framelits that match these and this basically shows Santa getting ready for Christmas Day or Christmas Eve rather. So here's the, um, the first one that I did and I'm sure you've seen lots and lots of versions of this because it is kind of how the um, stamp set is designed. It's got this big washing line and the little pegs. So I have hung Santa's outfit and it's drying on the line a couple of days before Christmas Eve. And then this one here was the one I really wanted to uh, give you a little bit more of a show and tell and a talk through. Um, I've got what to wear down here and we open it up and of course Santa really hasn't got any choice. He doesn't get to choose a different outfit each time. Um, but I just thought it was quite fun. Um, I could have hung all the individual items in there but I just liked the idea of having several um, several jackets. He might pop home, you know, on his way from one part of the world to the other to, to change into a fresh um, coat so I hung those all up there so I just wanted to go through what I've done so the first thing is um, I uh, stamped four little jackets I stamped the boots and I used the dies to cut those out um, you could fussy cut them um, but they are quite fussy so you know the, the dies are, are pretty useful um, I stuck these two straight on and that's one layer of dimensionals and two layers of dimensionals and then because I'd made the rail with a piece of um, our foil. Um, I actually used a Sharpie marker to draw in, if I go very close, you can hopefully see, I used a Sharpie marker to draw in the hangers because um, I, the, a regular marker wouldn't have dried easily on the foil. And then I've put its little boots down in the corner. So let me show you how I've actually made the wardrobe itself. Um, so the measurements you would need, I mean you can obviously do this any size you want, but the measurements that I used is I took a piece of crumb cake 5 inches by 3 inches and then two pieces 2 and a quarter inches, that's across, by 2 and a half inches deep, so two pieces there. Um, the doors I scored at a quarter of an inch from each edge and then I corner rounded all round the doors. And I also corner rounded the top of the um, wardrobe piece itself. And I've stamped them using the hardwood um, background stamp. Um, another alternative would be to use one of the um, wood grain DSPs that we've got. Um, so this piece down at the bottom, I just wanted to show how I'd done the little feet because I was really pleased with how this came out and it suddenly occurred to me that this would this might work so I gave it a little try and all I've done is I've gone up to the edge with my everyday label punch and punched and you can see I'm just kind of getting that bottom piece in and again up to the edge get that a little bit straighter and isn't that cute? <laughs> I really like that effect and it does make a quite a, um, a convincing kind of feat for the dresser. So I, I quite liked that, that effect so I just wanted to share that. So the sign obviously isn't in the, um, the what to wear is not in the stamp set. Um, I just printed that out um, with my computer on a piece of Whisper White and punched it out with uh, the classic label punch. Um, the little um, knobs on the front, the little handles on the front, um, those are um, our basic pearls and what I did is take a, a black sharpie marker and colour those in um, so to get a little bit of colour on them. So I think that's it, I think that is my, my show and tell for today. Quick and easy but really fun to make and um, I, I would encourage you to have a little go with uh, Santa's suit if you haven't already uh, made some creations with it. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.